guys, welcome back to our channel. We're the Garster Twins. I'm Britta. And I'm Carly. We would love it if you would subscribe and like this video. We have bare faces because we're doing a get ready with us. We're gonna use like some new to us products, um, some tried and true, just sort of a mix of new and old. To start, I'm just going in with the Tarte CC Corrector. We do use a brush, I use my finger. Yeah, I started using a brush because I end up using less product that way. If there's one product for under eye circles, just get this. It's so good. We've tried the Charlotte Tilbury one. We've tried the- Or under eye darkness, I should say. Yeah, the Becca one a long time ago, which yeah. I, I don't, oh, they do make it now under Smashbox. We used to, we've always had dark circles, so even oh, the Pixie one. Yeah, when we were like 18, no one had a product like this besides Pixie. Yeah. And well, Becca did, but we couldn't afford that. So we would always buy the Pixie one and looking back at that formula, it was like so dry. It was so but dry. But it did help. But we then, were younger then. Yeah, we were obsessed with this a few years ago and stopped buying it. And then I picked it up last year and so did Britta. And now we're like, I was like, why did I ever stop buying this? It's so good. And mm -hmm. it's pretty affordable and it lasts a while. Like the Pixie one, I also remember having to repurchase constantly. Do you remember that? Yeah, that's true. Um, for foundation, I'm just going in with the Ulta Beauty Complexion Crush. This is like a tried and true favorite of mine, especially at the drugstore. like that. Yeah, and I used it last week um, for the first time in a while. I'm just gonna mix two shades because I'm kind of in between fair neutral and light neutral. Light neutral is really dark. Um, mm -hmm. And this lasted on me all day. Like it wore so well. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna wear this again. I'm doing the Kosas foundation. We love it. But I said this before and I wanted to like say it as a reminder. I use like one pump. Not yeah. Sometimes like right now I'm not even doing a full pump. I do one pump. Yeah, I feel like if you use But not no more. Yeah, if you use too much, this can look a little cakey. Um, it's never like cakey on me, but I guess I've only always used a pump. Yeah, so just like, don't go in with too much, and I think you'll love this foundation. Yeah, you know what? I was thinking about this the other day. Sorry if I keep playing with my shirt. It's like pretty low cut, so I'm trying to maneuver it. Um, that I feel like a lot of people on YouTube, or maybe this is like a thing of the past, but Colfi concealer. I purchased this. This is like my old one. Still. A lot of foundation because yeah. they think that when you first put it on, like, oh, it's not showing up, so I have to like go in with more. But as the foundation like warms into your skin, that's when I feel like it gives you the coverage. Like you just have to like let it sit for a second. And I also think like when you think about it, you're looking at your face up close when you're getting ready typically. Yeah. But like no one's going to be looking at you that close. Like yeah. you don't need a lot of product in general. I just feel like because even the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint, which is like our tried and true mm -hmm. favorite. Like that one goes on when you start to blend it out, it looks pretty sheer. And you're like, oh, is yeah. this even doing anything? But as it like warms up with your complexion and those silicones like really like mesh with your skin, that's when it like creates that like even coverage. Well, that foundation especially, that one's always been almost yeah. like magic where yeah. it looks like nothing at first and then, yeah, within like but I'm thinking that's why some people like go, oh, like they're like, oh, it's not giving the coverage. I need to go in with more, but like just let it sit. Yeah. That was just one tip. Just I was general. just thinking of that the other day. Um, because I'm using one of the new M Cosmetics blush shades, I decided to use the bronzer stick too. This is the shade Summer, so it's the So Soft stick in Summer. I love this formula. It's like you can actually draw it on as you'll see me do because it blends out so easily. But it actually like deposits color. Like I recently reviewed the Merit Bronze Bomb, and that one also like that is truly like foolproof. Like if you are a beginner, I think that would be a perfect product. But it's just a little like sheer and natural for my liking. Yeah, I do not like sheer bronzers. Yeah, like if I'm wearing a bronzer, I want it to show up, you know. So. Um, this M1 is perfect, and I love, I mean, I use the shade Tara, like, every time I do my makeup, because it's more of a cool tone contour shade, but I wanted something a bit warmer today, so I'm using Summer. Just blending that up. Oh, I see. I'm using Tara. I always put it on the back of my hand, and then I go in with my Merit brush. Um, I just, like... Oh, you never draw it on? No, it ends up looking patchy on me. Really? I feel like it just looks best when I put it on the back of my hand first. It never looks patchy on me. Hmm. But yeah, this product is great regardless. Yeah. I know some people said that they're like a little expensive because they are $30, but I've had both of my sticks say they last a long for time. a really long time. Like over a year, I want And if say. it's something maybe that... maybe it's been like a year. I feel like if it's something I use every day that I really like... 
and I find that it's like a unique product for mm -hmm. me. Like, I don't really mind. Like the Ficlo concealer is mm -hmm. so expensive, but I have not found a concealer that I like as much. So I'll just continue to repurchase until I do, even though it's so expensive, you know? Yeah. Okay, I did a whole reel swatching all the new M Cosmetics So Soft blush shades because they sent us all three. But Demure is by far my favorite. It's now my favorite in the range. Oh, I think that's the one that I took out here too. Yeah, I've been wearing it like every day this week. It is a, like just a beigey nude, which is all I ever want. It's way more cool tone than Pearl T, which was my favorite from the original collection. I'm putting it all over. Um, and... It's just so nice. Like, I wore it um, last weekend. We filmed, or we shot some of our Mary-Kate and Ashley series for Instagram where we try to look like Mary-Kate and Ashley <laughs> in photos. And Mary-Kate and Ashley, if you, like, analyze their makeup, never wore, they barely wore blush. Like, maybe they barely nothing. wore makeup. Yeah, like, yeah. just, like, a lot of eye makeup, as you know. Mm -hmm. And that's, like, kind of it. I think some bronzer. But I wanted to put a little on, so I used this blush, and I ended up, like, loving how my makeup looks. So I'm actually going to kind of, like, do that today because I'm using eyeliner, just, like, a light cheek. Um, and I probably used even more than they would. But I thought that this blush was, like, perfect because it definitely, like, deposits color, but it's kind of, like, a natural color. Um, and it just looks like one with the skin. I love it. So probably my new favorite blush. Do you think that their formula works well over powder? Because I was gonna... Yeah, I've used okay. it over powder before. I'm gonna do my powder first. By the way, I always put the Colby concealer down my nose and like blend it in with my nose. I'm not even gonna say nose contour, but like nose bronzer. I don't know if it really does anything, but I feel like the Colby adds like nice coverage on my nose. Yeah, it's because it's like almost like a foundation. Yeah, I love the Colby concealer. I was gonna repurchase my beloved Coast House, but then I was like, you know what? This has lasted me so long and I love when concealer can last me a long time because it is a product that I go through quickly because it's yeah. something I use every day like even when I don't use foundation I'll use concealer so I decided to repurchase this because for some reason it's lasted me a crazy amount of time well I guess it is five mil which is pretty big um so this is a really good value I already have a backup of this Kosas cloud set powder I, can't be with I feel right like I've too. tried other powders. I forgot my powders. That are like a little more affordable. Like I've tried loose powders because I was like, oh, I think that would like last me longer. But it doesn't matter because no other formula is as good. Yeah. Well, and now I just don't even think I could use a loose powder. No, like I have that Jaclyn Cosmetics one that I like, but it's more glowy than this one. Mm -hmm. And it's just hard. Like you have to put it in the cap. Yeah. It's a whole thing. Ease of use is huge to me now. Yeah. I feel like. When I was younger, I, I used like, I had so many steps in my makeup routine. Which is funny because now we technically have more time. Yeah, true. Yeah, I just I'm still almost out of it. I don't like doing like a million steps. And it's so much easier to use a powder that's in a compact. Okay, my cheeks look a little... Swatchy? No, <laughs> swatchy. I just feel like a little sheer. I was like maybe going to add a powder, but I didn't bring one out. So we'll just focus on the eyes today. Yeah, I'm going, I've been using, the two bronzers I've been using the most are definitely the Jones Road one. I love that. And then the Jaclyn Cosmetics Yeah, the Jones Road one is, one is really nice. Yes. So today I'm going in with the Patrick Ta, this like duo, and she's sculpted. I'm just using the powder side. I feel like it's a little dark, but whatever. I'm going in with... Um, the new Moira Cosmetics eyeshadows that we got. You're already on eyeshadow? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna be sitting there. I, I only got one because I'm trying to save money. So I got one of these, what are they called? The Star Shadow Shadow Pot in the shade Muse. It's stunning. But I haven't put it on my eyes yet. And sometimes these glitter um, shadows like really sting my eyes. The one that actually does it the worst it's Victoria Beckham and I, I got the shade Honey and I love it and I still have it because I don't even know if they do returns. Um, and I can't even use it. It like burns my eyes so bad. So in preparation for it possibly burning my eyes, I'm going to go in with MAC Soft Ochre to sort of like lay down product. I have the NYX Glitter Glue out here too if you want it. That's what I was okay. going to use. Well, I was just going to go in with my finger. Does it need glitter glue? Oh, I don't wear glitter shadow without a glitter glue, but if you think... 
Yeah, I was just gonna. I still don't like when it falls on my face. On top of it. Well, it's like a dry eyeshadow. It's not really a glitter. Yeah, I use glitter glue with every even like shimmery shade because it always gets on my face. Hmm. I just don't like the look. Well, I'm gonna try just on top of this. I'm um, trying to bronze up my chest to match. I actually love this bronzer. I forget about it. Yeah, I love the cream contour in that. I use it a lot. I like the powder. Um, okay. okay, I've never used these, so yeah. I mean, should I do the back of my hand thing again? I'm using that do, do mirror. Yeah, shade. I mean, the blushes almost seem like more sheer. Oh, this is them. like a rosy. It's not really rosy. It's super pink, isn't it? Um, no, it I definitely has pink, pink undertones. Pink. Yeah, it has pink undertones, but it's, it's like a pinky nude. It's this, way like if this was a lipstick, it would be I would described say it's a beige as a nude. It's way more cool tone than their original blushes. Like, um, I think this is a pinky nude. Pearl tea was my favorite from the original, but it was more. It is a little more brown, but way more warm. This one isn't as warm. Yeah, this one's not warm, but it's definitely pinky. But I like it. I wanted to do because yeah. my eyeshadow is kind of. I might add a little more, and then I'm doing like a pinky lip too. So I think it'll all go together. Yeah, I like that this lays well over powder. This is still my favorite cream blush. It, it's such a good brush. It's the Real Techniques Insta Pop Cheek Brush, and it's just angled like perfectly to get onto the apples of your cheeks, and it works well with like every single um, formula I've ever tried with it. Mine is the It Cosmetics brush that I've had for like seven years. And I swear, the new, like, the existing brush, it's the number, what is it, number seven. It's still good, but their original quality was just the best. Like, the bristles just felt more durable. Okay, now I'm just going to go with this Moira shadow. I'm really excited. These are like, what, six dollars? Yeah, it was so cheap. I got five shadows. I'm going to use well, my middle finger because it's easier to get in there. I should say, oh shoot, I did bring another blush out here, but that's okay. I think that this on its own is These good. These feel so similar to the Hourglass ones. Yes. Okay. I'm going in with the Rose Ink Cream Highlighter in Glancing. I just love this. I've been using it a lot. Yeah, I use that a lot. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Because my issue with the hourglass is I got the shade, I don't even remember what the shade is called, but it's like the brown one. You like the bronze one. Yeah, I and I thought it was going to be bronze, and it ended up, oh, it's burning my eyes. Why do these do that? All of these shadows burn my eyes. You need to use glitter glue. No, I might just let it be and then wash my face after we are done. I'm trying filming. this. Um, our friend Devin sent us this Cali Ray Surf Proof Setting Spray, and I saw Kathleen use it, and she did, like, the white... Did you watch her video? She did, like, the white t-shirt test, because it says that it passes that, and she put her white shirt on her face, and it, like, didn't budge. Hmm. So, I'm trying this instead of Fix Plus today. Okay, yeah, I, I might just have to wash my face after we Wait, do... is anything happening? Yeah. Our makeup... But I love it so much, so I want to make it work. So let's see if it smells the, like coconuts. Let's see if the burning sensation goes away. So, so far, like I was going to say, my hourglass one, I got in like the brown shade. And at first, I really liked it. But then I didn't like how like the base color was like a warm brown. But it has silver glitter, and I felt like it never looked right. And then I love the shade of the Victoria Beckham. But like I said, that one really burns my eyes. So I can't wear it. But this one is like my favorite color out of all of those. It's like a cool toned, like minky brown. Yeah, I got that one too, but I'm using a different one today. I'm just going much slower than Carly, so bear with me. I'm doing my brows next quick with just the CoverGirl brow pencil. So far, the glitter isn't, I'm gonna blend right now, so it might start to fall, but it's not falling at all. I use, so I've tried, I haven't tried this formula yet, but I got two of the Lucent Cream shadows, and I love the Jupiter shade. I did a reel, so I don't know if that'll be up before this goes up. It must be, because we're, we're filming a lot of YouTube videos lately. Yeah. Um, oh, F. It's I crazy about my, this. I mean, there's so much glitter. Like, it kind of, like, I'm gonna put some bronzer in my crease to see if it can. Wait, sorry, do you have your brow pencil? Yeah. Can I use it? I guess. I don't know how much is left. Oh, is this di this is different? So I lied. I'm not going in with CoverGirl. I'm using this pad or towel one that Carly has. So I guess a little goes a long ways. The one thing I'm learning with this shadow because 
I feel like even with the hourglass, there's not as much glitter. Like, they really packed the glitter in these Moira shadows. Yeah, I was gonna say, the Lucent Cream, like, I used the glitter glue, and that, it, this is like a chunkier formula. Those are like a smoother, mm -hmm. more refined glitter. Um, and even so, it like kind of got all over here on like the outer corner, because a little goes a long way. Yeah, like, it's the glitter's not falling, but the, I have glitter like fully in my crease now, because it just kind of like zoomed up there. Would That's be very, kind of user error. Would be very cool for like a night. I know, I want to get, I'm going to well, leave it, but I'm definitely going to wash my makeup off after we're done filming. Cause, oh, why? That's not fun. I mean, there's glitter everywhere. It looks fine. Um, but the burning has sort of, some people do that as stopped. a look, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I love this shade Muse. It's really pretty. Like I said, I like it better than the hourglass one I have. And, and the Victoria Beckham. Oh, and yeah, what I was going to say was we ordered them from HB Beauty Bar. It's like a beauty website with a lot of affordable brands on it because they were doing free shipping over like 30 or $40 and 20% off. So I ended up getting like five shadows for $30, which is insane. Using the Victoria Beckham brown liner and sort of smudging it with this brush. Again, I did this when we did our Mary Kate and Ashley shoot because you know they love their eyeliner. I just really liked how it looked, so I want to start wearing this eyeliner way more often. It's the Coco shade. I really like this Milani Stay Put Liquid Brow Wax. It's like yeah, a too. thinner brow wax formula, so it's easy to like brush through. Like you saw, I put it on and it is kind of white. So then I go in with a spoolie over top and I like that it like provides a soft hold and it does, I feel like it adds volume to the brows, like yeah. subtle volume. I think it's really, really nice and I haven't really heard anyone talk about it. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty new. Yeah. These Victoria Beckham liners are so good. I don't know how they made them like so clean. Um, they're so creamy and then but they like really lock down i also really like that cali rice spray so far it's a super fine mist so it was kind of like hard to tell how much i was putting on my face it smells like coconuts which is kind of nice um coconuts so far so good okay now i'm like doing really see if i can blend this glitter out anymore i so think it's fine just what we've it. learned is that the glitter does lock down where you put it though it's not moving okay. at all I'm like blending in my crease to try to blend up the glitter away and it's not going away. So this glitter will last you. I also seem to have forgot my shadow palette. So I'm just gonna use this bronzer in my crease. I am like I said really impressed with how the glitter just like stays there though. Yeah. I hate it. Like I don't like glitter, so it's everywhere. But what do you mean? It's just up in your crease. It's just like all over my eyes. But I think that people do that. That's like a look now. I saw yeah. someone on TikTok purposely do that. Yeah, I'm just not a huge glitter person. But I do think like for a night look, I really am glad I got this shadow because it's like I said, the color is really pretty. I'm using the shade Star Show. It's like a rose gold, I think. I don't know. I swatched them when they first came in and then I haven't used them on the eye yet, but I thought it would kind of go, like I said, with the pinky tones that I'm doing. If you guys like this type of shadow, definitely get them because they have so many colors. I know, options. I want like a green. Yeah, they have way more than Hourglass or what's like another, well, even the Victoria Beckham. I really love because I got the honey shade in Victoria Beckham and it's like a true gold. Maybe I'll try it again, but like it burned my eyes so bad when I used it that I just couldn't. Using the L'Oreal Hyped Up Mascara, the telescopic lift. My tube is like so old now. I think I have to like stop using it, but it's sold out everywhere now. Yeah, I love it. I'm using it today too. Um, the NYX Glitter Glue is just the best. It really locks everything in place. It's like $5. I feel like a broken record. Ooh, I'm dropping everything today. Okay, yeah, these are like, I feel like they're even pressed a little looser than the hourglass. Oh my God, I feel like it's pressed so tight. Really? They feel pretty spongy to me. Like you can still 
Yeah, oh my gosh, these are like metallic. The Lucent creams, Ow. I feel like, are also metallic, but these are, at least this shade, looks even more intense. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. But I see what you're saying. I like accidentally touched this part of my yeah, face. Yeah, I didn't and accidentally I do it. I just like touched my entire eyelid because that's usually what I do. And then I'll blend out the crease area with a brush and like, Basically, this glitter just stays wherever you put it. Yeah. This eye looks much better, but I definitely got some over here, but... Like, I, there I less have glitter th all the way up to my brows. The glitter is less chunky than I thought. Like, in the pan, I'm yeah. like, oh, it's nice. Pretty chunky, kind of like the Hourglass ones, but I think mm -hmm. it's even more refined. Yeah, I don't know how they're selling these for so cheap, because yeah. Pearl, even if you use, like, cheaper mica, is expensive yeah it's not cheap so that's why they are made in china like, i think but still oh really yeah yeah then i guess that's why but yeah like shimmer shadows are much more expensive to make than matte um fun fact this is so pretty i do want to blend up the edges when it's like dry down i'm gonna do my mascara next i've been oh my god okay i need to go why did i leave everything in there i don't have my eyelash curler so i've been kind of using the milani what is this called highly rated as a primer because it doesn't irritate my eyes or like smudge so i do like a really light coat of this because it's really clumpy if you do <laughs> more than one coat using the elf what is this the brow lift i have to find a spot on my arm that isn't glittery. I love this mascara. I don't know how it's not like lifting for some people. Really? Do yeah. people say that? I think Kate tried it and she and she said Devin had the same experience. Well, I will say it doesn't hold a curl as well as my other mascaras. You don't think? No, but for me I feel like it does. I love how it separates. I love the volume. It just doesn't, yeah, hold a curl as much. Okay, maybe you're having the same experience as them then. But I still love it. Yeah, I just like... It doesn't um, like fall completely. I just feel like other mascaras hold a curl better. I feel like this one has been holding, but maybe it's the combination with the Milani, honestly. Yeah, maybe the Milani holds well for me. I just hate how clumpy it. Like, I don't like that mascara. Yeah, I don't like it either, but it works really well as a primer because... Sometimes L'Oreal mascara, like even Lash Paradise, after like two months of using it, it really started to irritate my eyes. Mm -hmm. And the Milani doesn't, so I'm like, oh, well, I'll just layer that one under, and it's been working really well. Okay, going in with NYX Nude Beige Pencil Liner. We are still on the hunt to find a dupe for this that lasts longer on the lips. Yeah. I even ordered one of the Myra lip liners, hoping it would be a dupe. No, it's completely more pink. So, we've swatched... Every lip oh liner in Sephora. Yeah. Every lip liner in Ulta. We're going to have to find like an obscure brand. Yeah. It's just insane. I don't understand how there's no dupe. Like we worked in this industry. There's dupes on dupes. Then I'm going to go in with the Sephora matte lip balm in pink. So I picked up the shade pink after we loved the shade fuchsia so much. And I really love this. It's like a cool tone pink. And I feel like it's perfect for um, like spring and summer. I also take some of the Milani... What is this? I can't remember the name. Highly rated. Uh huh. On my finger and brush the bottom lashes because again it doesn't smudge since it's tubing. I think I'm just gonna keep it as is. Yeah, I tried to really buff this up is my so edges. Pretty though. Yeah, and it did not work. I love this blush. The Demir. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. It's so good. I've worn it like every day. I'm obsessed. Um. I am. I do kind of want to add eyeliner, but now I'm like also weary of the glitter. But I, so I love this Milani um, Stay Put Eyeliner, and I had the green shade, and I wore it all the time because it's so easy to smudge out, but it really does stay. So I ordered Semi Sweet. It was like $6 on Walmart, and I've been loving just putting like a little bit in the outer corner and then using this like, pointed brush just to blend it out a little. It just adds like a slight definition. I don't know how to do eyeliner. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm just, just like putting smudging. it on the corner too. Yeah. But I, the day that we did our makeup for that Mary Ashley shoot, I loved how I just like. I know I did that. I did it. the same thing. And it made because I don't like wings on me. They don't look good. Yeah. Like my eyes just don't naturally. 
curve up so like it looks super unnatural to do a winged liner. Can I swatch this next to your Victoria one and see mm -hmm. if it's a dupe? Because you're like yeah. so creamy. Oh, yours is a little more chocolate brown. Mine has more, a little yellow. bit more yellow, but mm -hmm. they're close. Yeah. Yours is a little deeper. Yeah. I guess, yeah, semi-sweet is a really good name for this. It looks like a semi-sweet chocolate chip, not like dark chocolate. Um, but I love it, and it's so affordable. If you guys have, like, affordable brands we should try, because, you know, we're in our broke girl era. Yeah, but also... I feel like I just have good makeup now, so I'm yeah. trying not to like buy too much. But with Glossier being on Sephora, are you guys getting anything? Because I really want the punch shade of the Gen G lipstick. I used to love Gen G's. I had, oh my god, what was the mauve shade called? Like, I like, but the original Gen G formula, I like went through a tube of like, I wore it all the time because it just like looked really natural on my lips. Then I had Leo in the newer formula also really loved that but i didn't like the newer formula as much then i got cake and i felt like cake was like it i wore all the time you had so many yeah i did but i still didn't like the newer formula as much as the old one so then i like stopped gravitating towards it mostly because of the scent but then i saw the new shades and the shade punch which is I like know, that, so pretty like that bright sort of like pink red is so pretty i might need to get it I'm going in with MAC Strip Down. <coughs> this is the tiniest lip liner you've ever seen, but it's a tried and true. And then over top, I'm going in with Merit Baby. This is like a pinky nude, so like I said, I thought it would really tie in well with the cheek. Well, I thought that the pink lip balm was going to be really similar to Merit Millennial. And then I was like, oh, I um, maybe shouldn't get it because I already have that lipstick. But when swatched side by side this is more cool tone which is what i want like a really cool tone pink yeah i really love that fuchsia shade yeah look how pretty the pink one is especially with the nyx yeah liner. that's true i love it i feel like i'm gonna even wear this one more than the fuchsia i'm trying to like powder my face a little i don't know why i look yeah really i thought shiny. i looked really shiny too so I maybe it's just the lights but yeah I like this look a lot. Yeah, I like mine too. I'm coming around to the glitter. I don't hate it. It's, it's just, just funny. You were everywhere. like, I don't like glitter, but then you bought and used the glitter shadow. Well, because I don't have any. Like, that yeah. I don't really use. Like I said, I don't like the hourglass when I have. The Torian one really burns my eyes. Now the burning has stopped on this one. Um, so I do like it. I just, I want it, I want an option to wear glitter. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty. Mm -hmm. Um, we hope you like these looks and enjoyed getting ready with us. Uh, just to recap, yeah, love the Moira shadow. I definitely want to keep using this. Mm -hmm. I feel like, I mean, I don't know if it really sets my face really well, but I don't use a setting spray to set. Like, I use Fix Plus mainly to, like, hydrate. And this one says hydrating and long wearing, so I feel like I'll definitely keep using this. Mm -hmm. I love this blush. Yeah, the blush is, like, my favorite. And it's so pretty. It's just, like, a really flattering shade. Yeah, it's really flattering. And, like, you guys saw how well it layered mm -hmm. over powder. I also forgot how much I liked the shade Summer for the bronzer, so I'm glad I pulled that out again. And then, yeah, the telescopic lift is just good. It's so good. It's one of you guys DM'd me asking in our vlog, like, what I was wearing. This is the only mascara I've been wearing. I love it. I know there's, like, some still some drama around it. Now it's just mostly sold out, so I'm kind of like upset. I got it when it was brand new on Amazon. Yeah, you did. Before anyone had purchased it. we always love L'Oreal mascaras. mascaras. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you guys. We'll see you in our next video.